Good afternoon. My name is Craig Williams. I'm in 11th grade from Clinton High School. And today, I would love to talk about engineering. So first things first. Engineering is, the definition of engineering, excuse me, is creating something new and then putting it into action in real life. It is also the ability of problem solving. For example, imagine I have a big river right here with alligators in it and I needed to cross over and talk to the other person on the other side. What is something that is already invented that I can put over the, over the bridge and walk over it safely? I said bridge, did not. <laughs> <laughs> the next example is I'm at school and I have books on the table and I need to pick up the books and carry it to the next class. What is something already invented that I can easily pack the books into and put it on my back and then run to my next class. A backpack. Both of those are, are products of engineering and design because they are both solutions to a problem. Now let's talk about the origin of engineering and how it all began. So it was first recorded 30,000 BC, caveman era. They did not have like what we have today. They didn't have Kroger's. They didn't have H-E-B, didn't have Chick-fil-A, Starbucks. They had to hunt for their animals, which is hard to do with your bare hands. So they created tools to help them hunt and gather the animals. The major tool that they, that they created and the best tool that they created was the bow and arrow. This allowed them to hunt from a distance. And this also opened up many doors for other inventions. Now, I told you about the definition. I told you how it began. Now let's talk about how do engineers think and, and how do they think differently than an average normal person. Well, they don't. Let's go back to the caveman era. Cavemen, unlike we do today, did not have knowledge or technology. What they had and what was the only thing on their mindset was survival and how to survive. Now, engineers today think of that, think of the thing similarly to that. They think on how to make life better and how to progress. So this is proof, this is exact proof that anyone in here can be an engineer and you don't necessarily have to be good at math because engineering and design is something that is genetically wired in your brain and it is a talent that everyone just naturally has you just don't know it. So now, why is this talent you have and why is engineering and design important today? Well, if we didn't have engineering and design and if we didn't discover our talent, we would have nothing. This world would be nothing. Engineering and design is a special tool that allows us humans to progress and advance into a world we always dreamed of. Think of all, of all the inventions that are invented today that people have once said were impossible. Drones, iPhones, driverless cars, uh, I forgot my line. Um, imagine, like, raise your hand if you want to go to Mars someday. Just as easy if you want to book a flight to Disney World. You go online, you go, you say, I want to go to Mars. You go to the airport, you get on a plane, fly to Mars, boom, you're at Mars. That could all happen. All it takes is you all, because everyone in here is an engineer. My last thing I want to say is this. Engineering and design, anyone can be an engineer and a designer. It does not take a genius or math wizard to be an engineer. Everyone has the capability of creating something so magnificent that it can change the way we live. Because engineering design is nothing but problem solving. And it is a talent that everyone naturally has. Thank you for having me here.